morning guys welcome to today's video so this is happening there's a thunderstorm happening outside and i'm gonna go out there I'll show you why i have to go out there so this is the camera in the goat barn and all the horses are <laughs> hiding in the goat barn because it's raining and they don't want to get wet so now i have to go outside and call them so that the goats can go in their section and the horses can get back up to the barn so i'm going to call them and see what happens Miss Piggy is in the horse barn. Storm! Penny! Lady! Gracie! Storm! See, they're all still in the uh, goat barn there. I'm gonna try and get them up here. Lady! I'm gonna have to go out there in the rain. See if they'll come. We'll see if they come now. Storm! 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 Lady! Gracie! Gracie! Gra they don't want to come. Gracie! Storm! 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 I'm gonna call them in the camera system and see if they'll come. Wow, choppy internet. Gracie, Storm, come on Storm. Lady, Penny, I don't know where Penny is. Oh, there they come. Come on Lady, come on Gracie. Come on Storm. Come on Storm. I think they're coming. Uh, the internet is a little bit choppy, but they're coming now, I think. Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on, Storm. Let's go. Come on. He doesn't know if he wants to go or not. Come on. Up to the big barn. Oh, there they come. They're coming. Oh, I see them. They're coming now. Come on. Come on, buds. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Storm. I just wanted them out from the uh, goats so the goats can be covered up, but come on. And there's Willow, Willow Storm. And Lady are there, and Gracie's there. Come on. I guess they're coming now. I gotta, I gotta go high, hide in the barn because they're gonna come. I don't know where, oh, there's Penny too. Penny's there. They're all there. Well, we'll see who shows up, but little Miss Piggy there. <laughs> What's the matter? You're standing in the barn where it's dry. Is that what you're doing? Hey, having a nap? Who having a nap? Hey, having a nap? Hey, give you a little belly rub. Hey, horses are coming up soon. Storm is right in that shelter. Ladies, there. Come on, Storm! Come on! Ah, uh, they're not that bright, are they? Come on, lady. Lady's looking. She doesn't want to come. Come on, lady. And just like that, it's a, it's a rainy day again, you guys. It's a rainy day. I used to always complain about the rain, like I always used to feel stressed about the rain. I'd be like, oh man, it's raining too much. How am I gonna get outside and do all the things that I love each day? Like I wanna trim these bushes so, so, so bad. We're getting so much rain right now that I literally, it's just eating up half of our summer. It's eating up half of our summer, but you know what? I don't care anymore. Like I've learned to just see the joy and I see the joy in the rain now. Like I see, beauty and joy in the rain. I see beauty and joy and not being able to cut the bushes because I get to do other things instead. I don't know, we got to clean the house this morning because the weather was so bad and everybody helped and that was so awesome. I have honestly learned to be excited about the things that I get to do and not even pay attention to the things that I don't get to do. And we get to go to a horse show this weekend and I'm excited and be with our friends. And there's my garden, you guys, a different view of my garden. Isn't this so cute? 
the weeds are kind of getting out of control. Next year I'm going to put some leaves in there and it should really cut down on the weeds for this year. But yep, that's my garden, my overgrown, crazy, full garden because of this amazing rain. And that stormy boy down there, not in a shelter. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but he's not in the barn and it's raining. There's Gracie looking at me. Hi, oh, Gracie girl. Of course the goats are in the barn because they don't do rain. Out first, and then the other stuff becomes unconscious. Then you have the, the time to focus on your hands while you're doing your So this is something that I've always like tried to explain but didn't have the words, but Gabby is a master at words, believe it or not. So I keep saying like, Sophie, you're not even trying with your hands. She has these piano hands and she's not even like. Because you fix the problem and then you focus on something else and they go like that again. Yeah, so what? So she, she adjusts them. You adjust them and then you have to focus on something else. Like your legs, like squeezing, holding on with your calves or something. And your hands go back. Yeah, and so Gabby so says. You figure out all the other stuff so that you can do that and focus on your hands. Yeah, if that makes sense. It's like when you're learning the things that take precedence when you're learning are the things that are like ride or die. So like if she's going up a hill and she's sliding back, she's focusing on her body and how to stay in the saddle. If the horse is going over a jump, like she's always, you're always focusing on the things that need your attention the most. And it's the little things that you should already know, like your proper hands that you change because you just, you just forget about that while you're focusing on the things that are more important in that, in that moment. So Gabby said what happened to her is that as she progressed and progressed and progressed and all the harder things, the things that like took precedence while she was learning, when she mastered those and she was more confident in the saddle, then the hands just came gradually after. They just naturally came because she was able to focus on little things like that. And and it's the same as with when you're in adrenaline. Like when adrenaline is going and you're like focusing on like the most important thing, the thing that's driving the adrenaline, it's difficult to concentrate on other things like how when people scream when bad things happen like they're focusing on the adrenaline and what's happening and it's hard for them to pay attention to the fact that you shouldn't be screaming <laughs> like it's just a learning process but i love a lady you guys i love her for sophie one of my friends i think i told you one of my friends said that lady is sophie they're the same person they both have energy they both love to go they love to do something like if i say to sophie hey her ears are perked up already like she's like what, what are you going to say? Like, you want to go somewhere? You want to do something? And that is Sophie. And ladies the same. Like, and they both have really loving, gentle, calm personalities. And, but Sophie has like a bit of spice in her. Like if people mistreat her, she's like right there to say, hey, that's not, not right. And ladies is the same. Like they are the same. And they, their energies match. I was just giving her some last minute instruction. All right, cool that girl out. Or are you going to do the second course? Is that the course that's in the thing? No. <laughs> Too bad. Imagine they told us the course like a week before. <laughs> That'd be cheating. So if she does okay in the flat, would you, are you thinking that you'd want to do a hat class on her? I mean, you only have to do as much as you want to do. You don't have to even do the whole thing. Yeah. But I, I would let you do a hat class if you wanted to do a hat class. I asked. Yeah, she is. What? We'll see how she is. We'll see how she does. She's doing walk trot poles in the morning. We're going to see how she does. Remember, she's still building muscle. Um, if she's like still raring to go, like she's she not. still is. She wants to go. She wants to go, go. No. She saw, uh, Gab she saw Gabby walk through the gate there. And she was like, hold up. I'm coming with you. <laughs> Why don't you just sit on my feet? She just tried to sit on my feet. <laughs> Tell me that she's not the same as a dog or better than a dog. I mean, she's still a baby and she just lays at my feet. Because she's just the cutest baby. I know. She, well, she doesn't move over. It's because she's not used to that yet. She doesn't know how. She just doesn't know how. Good girl. Gabby will teach her. And she was over the other day and she was just sitting in the goat field with me. And we were just sitting there and Posey was there and goats were all over top of her. And... and she was like, I just, like, you just walk into a farm, you sit down with the animals, and then all the stress just leaves your body. Like, it's the 
craziest thing ever. And she said like she feels it so strongly. She just said like she could just live here because she just feels so less stressed and so like relaxed. And I said, I know it's true. And even me just sitting out here watching the girls and thank oh. you, Gabby. And seeing my little pig and my little dog run, it just brings me so much like joy and so much happiness. Like, don't you know that you 